Hi kids, so this video is for class 10 student. We'll discuss numericals from calorimetry from consigned physics. This is exercise 11. Let us look at the first one what they have given. By imparting heat to a body, its temperature rises by 15 degrees Celsius. What is the corresponding rise in temperature on Kelvin scale? So this was in Celsius scale this was the rise in temperature so what will be the rise in temperature in kelvin scale very easy the rise of temperature in celsius scale and kelvin scale is always same the difference is always same which means if the temperature rises by 15 degrees centigrade over here then it will rise by 15 kelvin over there same yes or no done number two Calculate the heat capacity, capital C dash, okay, of a copper vessel of mass 150 gram. Uh, if the specific heat capacity of copper, small c, is 410 joule per kg per Kelvin. Yeah, look over here. We know capital C dash is mass into small c. Just use the formula. That's 150 by 1000 because we'll convert mass to kg, SI unit. And C is given as 410. Yeah. Just multiply 1, 2, 1, 2. This is 15 into 41. That's 615. 615 by 10. 61.5 joule per Kelvin. That is my heat capacity. They given one book part to it. How much heat energy will be required to increase the temperature of the vessel in part A from 25 to 35, which means 25 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade, which means the change in temperature del T is 35 minus 25, that's 10 degree centigrade. Yes or no? Now heat is MC del T. M is what? M is 150 by 1000, small c, specific heat capacity is 410 and change in temperature, again in Celsius scale or in Kelvin scale, the change of temperature is same, so 10, 150 by 1000 into 410, we have already calculated 61.5, so 61.5 into 10 is 615 joule, this much of heat energy, yes or no? Yes, so this much of heat energy will be required. Done. Now look at number 3. A piece of iron of mass 2 kg and a heat capacity of 966 joule per Kelvin. Find its heat energy needed to warm it by 15 degrees centigrade. Warm it by 15 degrees centigrade means the difference in temperature is 15 degrees. Del T is 15 degrees. And find its specific heat capacity in SI unit. Chalo karte. See, first thing, what is heat? Heat is mc del t, specific heat capacity, over here small c. So q, we can write, instead of mc, can I write c dash into del t? Because c dash is nothing but m into c, small c. Now substitute the value. So c dash is 966 multiplied by del t. You know, it's 15 degree, they have told. Warm it by 15 degree centigrade, which means the change in temperature is 15 degree. Okay, now just calculate 966 by 15, 56 are 30, 56 are 30, 33, 45, 46, 48. This is 669, 09. This is how much? 4. This is again 40. So Q equals to 14490 joule done the first part second part specific heat capacity just now i told you c dash is m into small c calculate c dash is how much 966 m is how much 2 into c c will be 433 three. sorry 2 4 times then 8 and then 3 yeah joule per kg per kelvin that's my answer 483 joule per kg per kelvin.
Done. Chal, we'll do number four now. Look at number four. Calculate the amount of heat energy, which means they have asked for Q, required to raise the temperature of 100 gram of copper, which means mass is 100 gram, from 20 degrees centigrade to 70 degrees centigrade, which means change in temperature is 70 minus 20. That's 15 degrees centigrade. Specific heat capacity, small c is given as 390 joule per kg per kelvin. Done. Very easy. What will be Q? Mc del T. That's the formula. So heat energy will be what? M is 100 grams. So in kg, you divide by 1000. Small c is 390. And del T is 50. 1 times 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's 0, 5. 9s are 45, 1950 Joule. Yeah, that's my answer. Very easy. This was the easiest sum I believe. MCT, done. Delta rather. Chal. We'll do number 5 over here only. Lot of space. 1300 Joule of heat energy is supplied to raise the temperature of 0 0.5 kg of lead from 20 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade which means change in temperature is 40 minus 20 20 degree centigrade yes or no they have asked for calculate small c calculate the specific heat capacity of lead very easy q equals to m c del t which means c equals to q by m into del t make small c the subject so c equals to q is how much 1300 m is how much 0 0.5 and delta is what 20 the point goes away 10 comes over here so this is 13000 0, 0, 0. 520 times gives you 100 so c is 130 joule per kg per kelvin okay yeah that's the answer 130 joule per kg per kelvin. Make C the subject and your work is done. Okay? Chal. We'll do the next one. Number. This was 5. We'll do number 6. Now look at number 6. Find the time taken by a 500 watt heater to raise the temperature of 50 kg of a material of specific heat capacity 960 joule per kg per kelvin from 18 degree to 38 degree. Which means change in temperature is 20 degree. Done. Now, others information are here. Look over here. We just need to know one thing. That power in this case will be Q by T. Which means time. So time will be Q by P. Q is the amount of heat. So heat is what? MC del T by P. Substitute the value. M is how much? 50. C is how much? 960. And del T is how much? Del T is 20. By 500, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5 cancels out. 2, 0 times 0, 2, 6 times 12, 18, 1, 9, 2, 0 seconds. Convert it to minute. 60 se divide karenge, 6, 3s are, 6, 2s are. That's 32 minute is your answer. Done, very easy. Just remember this relation and your sum is done. Okay? Chal, we'll do number 7. Now look at number 7. An electric heater of power 600 watt raises the temperature of 4 kg of liquid from 10 degree to 15 degree which means change in temperature is 5 degree. Okay. In 100 second. Calculate the heat capacity of 4 kg of liquid that is capital C dash and the specific heat capacity of liquid. Very easy. Look over here. Number 1. We know power equals to Q by T we have already done this. Okay. So, power is what? 600. M Q is what? M C into del T. And this is time. Okay. Time is how much? 100. Substitute the value. 600 0 into 100 is equal to mass is how much? 4. C as it is. And del T is how much? Change in temperature is 5. This is 600 into 100 by 4 into 5 equals to C. 25 times. 
that's 3000 joule per kg per kelvin that is my specific heat capacity yeah 3 into 10 to the power 3 they have written same thing 3 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kg per kelvin specific heat capacity now this was number two part two actually you got part one c dash is m into c yes or no so c dash will be mass is how much four and c is three into ten to the power three joule per kelvin so that's 12 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kelvin done yeah that's the answer 1.2 they have written it as 1.2 into 10 to the power 4 joule per kelvin yeah that's the answer done Chal. in this video we'll keep it till here in the next video we'll finish the rest of the sum till then take care and be safe and if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.